Make sure to use code BANGLE at sign up on FanDuel for a $20 deposit bonus. And check out my second channel for other games coming up like Red Dead Redemption 2 and Call of Duty Black Ops 4. As well as my third channel with collaborations with some of your favorite YouTubers. Let's get into the video. What is going on guys? Bangle again here coming back at you with another video. This is my first actual main channel recording after my surgery. And it's about a week and a half after. And I'm feeling pretty good. But of course, no face cam. It's not actually that bad. If you guys want to see what I look like uh, on my Red Dead Redemption 2 playthrough on my second channel. Which as you may or is linked down in the description along with my Twitch, third channel, Twitter, etc. All those fun links. But today we are back, and in 2013, the Heisman Trophy winner goes to, uh, or the Heisman Trophy winner is Leonard Fournette. Joe Mixon in second place. You see some familiar names in there uh, Baker Mayfield, uh, Donnell Pumphrey, I believe that's what, Denario McCall? Is that who that is? Demario? Yeah, Demario McCall. I would say running back. Been a while since I've seen that name. But as you guys may or may not know, <laughs> bowl season for us is going to be pretty uneventful. We obviously did not qualify. And, um, I mean, it's pretty brutal. It's the end of bowl season. The Outlaws couldn't steal their way to a bowl game, apparently at four and eight but you know what it was an abysmal season but it can be saved with a very good off season i usually stream the off season but for this one i'm not going to do that i mean when i say usually i mean for my other series in the past giants franchise that sort of thing 49ers franchise in madden 18 but you know what we're going to do it offline this time hopefully get the players i want and if we don't it sucks to suck but I'm getting used to it. I like how we still get the old news stories. Slipping. Ozark State doesn't want losing to become a habit. Well, it, it did. It did become a habit, unfortunately. So, that's where we are. It's the end of the season. And I forgot just how long it actually takes. So, the one major improvement that has been made uh, with the newer games in Madden, you know, 18, 19. In a recruiting battle with one school for Bobby Caldwell, the running back, Greg Falks who is an athlete. Probably Caldwell might be an athlete too, turn running back. Ryan Harris with two schools, Chris Brown with one, Nick Olsen with one, and then we were locked out by Doug Denman, who is an athlete who's pretty trash. And then Quentin Carter is a right tackle, locked this out, oh boo hoo. We do have a first team All-American, which is a shocker. I have no idea who that would have been. First team All-Conference and a second team All-Conference uh, player. I think those are worded to, to the players and it could be one player. I, I would guess that it would be. Our security is still safe. We have a five-year contract. And our target wins per year is five. So, you know what? We're pretty much right there. It's very sad. 0-2 versus top 25 teams. But, you know what? We're going to have a good recruiting class. And all that will change in this episode, maybe. Well, not the wins. That's, that's not going to happen. On to players leaving. Oh, boy. Montreal Gardner's gone. Our great seniors. I would do a tribute video, like my, my pal Drew does, not the expert. But uh, we really don't have highlights for anyone. This is, all the players are so bad. Now, Montreal Gardner, he made some big plays. Rarely. All right, who exactly is leaving? We could have transfer players, too. Oh, uh, we're going to. Ralph Hale is gone. He's going to UAB. Who, I guess they, 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 you know, end their football program every other year. Riley Cody, our backup running back, is going to Troy. Cornerback Nick Larson to Southern Miss. And then we have Antoine Watts graduating. Brian Mullins graduating. Marty Huggins, the fullback. We should have got him more involved, dude. Joe Bauer, the kicker. Jared Davenport, I guess that's Gerard. Jonathan Baker was a senior. He actually made some good plays. Mark Fenner is leaving as well. Trey Washington, Logan Stratton, Montrell Gardner, of course, graduating. He was trash. Brooks Weeks, our punter. Deron Gibbons. I hope that's pronounced Darren. We're losing a lot of key players. Gotta love it. All right, transfer requests. Oh, and of course, yeah, let's export it to Madden 25. No. No. Let me guess, nobody got drafted. 
Shocker. <laughs> Who would draft any of our seniors? What are the transfer requests? I mean, we're gonna, we're gonna... Interesting. Wow, what? Devin White? No way. Devin White? <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm in. Hunter Register. Quite a name there. And Mike Lee out of Kansas. I mean, I'm so in. Devin White transferring to Ozark State. That's sick. That's so sick. In real life right now, Devin White is a probable top five draft, uh, draft prospect going into the 2019 NFL Draft. Oh my goodness. That is absolutely insane. That is so sick. I'm, I'm in. I'm absolutely in. That's incredible. Under recruiting. I'm in a great mood now. We just got Devin White over Montreal Gardner. Are you kidding me? All right, recruiting now. Finishing some things up. 10,000 points remaining. And we have some interesting spots. We have the lead on Bobby Caldwell. It's pretty close, though, with Georgia. Four-star athlete, but we know he's a running back. Do we know anything about... We don't really know if he's any better than this. Which I guess is my fault. We could scout him all the way. It really wouldn't cost that many points. So we're going to do that. Ooh, 77 overall gem. Speed is low. I don't know if I like him as a running back. He has decent running back numbers. Can't really catch very well. Has no ability to play defense. He's just a slow running back. I don't, I don't know. I know he's a really high overall for us. Or just in general, honestly. But he's not hes not that good. We are in a really close battle with Ryan Harris. This is a player I'd like to bring in. The UCF Knights and the Virginia Cavaliers are trying to get him. Tulsa, Iowa, very far behind. Um, let's see who we're in a battle with first. Bobby Caldwell. He's just such a high overall. I feel like he'd be such a big miss. And his speed will go up over time. I mean, this is a player we definitely are going to want. So we'll definitely invest some points into him. We'll start with 400. We'll come back in the end. Absolute cannot miss players. These Juco players are obviously going to be insane because they are junior college transfers. And Colby Spencer is just a beast. Insane speed and throw power. He's really just amazing at everything. This is my ideal 78 overall player. Just someone who can do it all. But yet the running back, Bobby Caldwell, who's a 77, looks way worse. I don't understand. Like, how is this a 78 and this a 77? I don't really know. Elusiveness trucking is what it comes down to, probably. Barely have the lead on uh, Scott Lewis here. How good are you, Scott Lewis? You have 95 speed. I forgot about that. This is our running back, probably. Has good zone coverage. Great pursuit. Decent man. But he has high spin, high juke, high elusiveness, high speed. This is our running back right here, Scott Lewis. We need to extend this lead. Okay, so I've managed my points in a really interesting way. We have the only four commits we have right now and I need to do a better job of getting more players next year Pete Riley Derek Higgins who is this was the number one player I wanted coming into things really really wanted him we also have Shelton Neal and Antonio Madison so we have four guaranteed right now gonna get probably a lot more but Derek Higgins is such a good player found so much potential with him 91 speed 85 man 81 zone is what we saw and that's that really sold me I'm not gonna show how I've managed these points but 10,000 have been put in and I hope it pays off because we need some of these players to turn around Ozark State bring the outlaws to the promised land I will see you guys for national signing day all right we're level seven this means that we definitely got at least one prospect I would hope we sign somebody I say prospect they're recruits I don't know why I keep doing that all right, Hunter, Randy Hill to Western Kentucky, Bobby Caldwell to Georgia, but we got Colby Spencer, who's listed as a wide receiver. I'm telling you, he will play QB. Scott Lewis, the athlete, will play running back. We also got Chris Porter. He's a five-star, and um, I don't know how much he's going to play. 
He's for the future. He's for the future. We'll see. Right now, my quarterback of the future is Colby Spencer, even though it lists him as wide out. We lost Ryan Harris, lost Larry Flowers. We got Nick Olsen, a linebacker. We got William Mays, a cornerback. Willie Mays. Scott Ford, Donnell Mason, Terrence Hodges are the players that have commit to Ozark State. Honestly, I think we did pretty well. We probably could have done better to sign more players. Like, we really could have. I, I just focus in on some of the top guys. And next year, I'm going to do a better job to bring in more players. I can guarantee that. But um, I wanted Colby Spencer badly. I wanted Scott Lewis. I got the two players I really, really wanted. The rest we can build around. We have, you know, the team in place. We signed the top class in the conference and all of the Sun Belt. A five-star prospect. That was the quarterback, Chris Porter. Uh, one four-star, I guess, a top ten prospect. Was that Chris Porter? Really? Six three-star prospects, 12 prospects in general, and we found a gem. All right. I think we did all right. Let me know what you think. Wow. We missed Bobby Caldwell by 150 points. We were way off on Ryan Harris. Got Chris Porter by a lot. Missed Larry Jones by a lot. Missed Antoine Fleming by a lot. 575 down on Chris Brown, who's a player I actually was trying to actively get. Uh, Larry Flowers, minus 570. I mean, some of these are pretty close. A lot of these guys I just didn't go after. I wish I got Randy Hill. He's a Juco punter. Kind of nice. Can't check out any of his, uh, his stats other than that. Didn't really want Doug Denman. So, I mean, we gave up on a lot of these players. Just, I didn't feel a need to sign some of these just trash players. Even though we were close on a lot of them. Fouts to UMass. He wasn't particularly great. We got a lot of the players I wanted. Again, I, I don't have to rationalize this, but I, I really do think we did pretty well. Just, we didn't get a whole ton of quantity, but I think the quality is there. All right, position changes. This is huge for us. We're going to see the new overalls of our new starters. Obviously, as you guys can see, there are a lot of new players and a lot of real high overalls. It's crazy. Devin White's absolutely going to play. 89 speed at middle linebacker. A big upgrade over Montreal Gardner, who had like 70 speed. This is incredible what has happened. Devin White even played running back, as a lot of you guys might know, and then changed to middle linebacker. So he does have super high agility too. Break tackle, trucking, all great. Because this guy was a running back. But Colby Spencer, you're playing quarterback. 79 overall it jumps up to. And he's only a sophomore. We could realistically have this guy for three seasons. I am over the moon. And we got Pete Riley, the beast. I never thought we'd be able to. I don't know how he's here, but we got him. He commits super early. Chris Porter was the five-star. And he's in-state. I, again, I don't know how... I don't think the Ozark mountain range is in Louisiana at all. But that's where Ozark State is for whatever reason. Pedro Goddard has been benched. We're going with Colby Spencer. We'd be foolish not to. I'm not voting for Pedro today. I got to roll back that line of merch that was coming out. Vote for Pedro or vote for Goddard. That has to come back. We got Colby Spencer now. Does Chris Porter do anything else well? Nope. Chris Porter, he's just a quarterback. And he's a freshman. We're absolutely going to redshirt him. 100%. There's no reason to have him really... Uh, be on the roster. We're going to redshirt him for sure. Him being kind of a bust over where we thought he was 78 overall really hurts, but it makes our decision at QB a lot easier. Scott Lewis will be a running back. There's just no way around it. We'll check out some other positions for overalls, but he will play running back 100%. Decent safety. Wow. But he is going to be a running back, and he will take the job of Darren Maxwell. It's going to be such a fun boost to go from 85 speed to 95, 79 agility to 92, 79 acceleration to 91. Similar brake tackles, similar trucking, way better elusiveness for Scott Lewis. Better ball carry vision, not that it matters. Better stiff arm, better spin, better juke. Carrying is worse, but catching is a little bit better. Very comparable catching stats, if I'm honest. Wait, this is a sick player. We don't have a fullback. We don't really have anyone on the uh, roster that fits a fullback, at least a running back. 
So I don't know what we're going to do there for right now. We don't use that that much. But Hunter Register is a new transfer. Lafayette, Louisiana. Of course, the true freshman, Berlin Francisco, is now a true sophomore. Karan Kirkpatrick is now a senior. Ryan Muller stays at number four. We also have, uh, of course, Rob Gaither. Gerard Sharp, Demarcus Townsend, Ron Norman. Ron Norman. This kick returner with 78 speed. He's so bad. We could change some of these guys around. I don't know, but... We'll see if any of them fit a new position. Still a pretty good tight end group. Jake Rodriguez continues to get better. He was only a redshirt freshman last year, and we used him a lot. He's 6'6", 250 with decent speed. This is a player I want to get involved a lot in season number two. The offensive line continues to be pretty bad. We didn't recruit all that well. We got Jack Ham, Hall of Fame linebacker for the Steelers. We got to recruit better next year. Bottom line, got to recruit better. Got a lot of senior offensive linemen. Oh my goodness. A lot of senior offensive linemen. It is such a bad offensive line. Ron Wilkerson is now a senior, but Deontay McKeon was redshirt last year as a freshman. But now, he's a guy that's going to see significant time. 81 speed off the edge, 80 strength is pretty great. We also have uh, 72 tackle, 75 power move, 71 block shed. He's all right. He's all right, but he's young, so we'll play. Sandoval Slaughter. I forgot about this guy. Another redshirt player. This is this is redshirt freshman now. He's a player that is definitely going to be fun to watch. Defensive tackle. It's an interesting position group. Not amazing. A lot of the team isn't, though. Who are still Colt Nash, Colt 45. Middle linebacker, Devin White. What an insane transfer. I still can't get over how incredible that is. And, of course, a right outside linebacker. Now a senior Lightning McQueen. This is an interesting group. Cornerback Derek Higgins, automatically the best cornerback in this group. As a true freshman, he will play. He will start, and he will be good. Probably also return kicks. There's potential for it. We also have the outlaw, now a junior. Byron Fulton is a senior. He made a ton of big plays for us last year. Our cornerbacks were probably the best spot in our entire defense. And then at free safety, Jarvis Blankenship. Remains a starter. We got to bring in new safeties this year. Pretty much all seniors except for Mike Lee. Another transfer out of, I believe, Minnesota on this one. Tariq Parrish, Ernest Tarman. This is not a terrible team. I think we're, we're obviously better than we were last year. Just, uh, we're not, we're not great yet. Colby Spencer is going to lead us to the promised land, though. Everyone's favorite Part of the offseason, pretty much, you know, besides getting the actual players. But the training results. How good are our players going to become? Devin White gets a big boost. 90 speed. He gets up to an 82. Oh, it's gross. Easily the best player on our team. Oh, I forgot that Pedro Goddard would be getting a big boost. Hunter Register, another transfer, goes up to a 79 overall. 82 speed is pretty low. Which is disappointing, but he's got phenomenal agility and acceleration. So he'll be like a big slant guy, maybe? Good, great catching for him, honestly. He got a huge boost with a plus four. Jake Rodriguez got a plus five. Let's get Mike Lee. Our top, the, the three guys are all transfers. Shocker. Jake Rodriguez plus five is so big. 80 speed. Big awareness boost. Decent break tackle. Plus three trucking to 80. I love that. Let's go position by position to make this a little bit easier. Kedrick Cunningham becomes a little bit better. But he got passed up by Jason Perry. Kedrick Cunningham now a senior. What a disaster he was. But decent speed. Pedro Goddard would be is a good backup. That's what he'll be. A good backup. Throw power goes up a little bit. Throw accuracy goes up. Like to see that. At running back, Darren Maxwell goes up to a 75 overall. Pretty good boost for him, honestly. Not that bad. Fullback, no fullback. Wide receiver, Roland Francisco is going to be a super fun one, up to a 75. Karan Kirkpatrick up to a 74, but he got surpassed by Roland Francisco. 
90 speed. Uh, decent elusiveness. What about your catching? You dropped a lot of passes for 76 catching, 73 or 77 spectacular catch plus three. Catching traffic is unbelievably low. Decent route running. That'll be a really fun combo. You guys probably saw Karan Kirkpatrick as well. Ryan Muller got a decent boost, but he got passed by Rob Gaither. Didn't really even play that much. At tight end, big boost for the entire group. Quincy Rust up to a 73. Gabriel Timmons was pretty good for us, honestly. But Rodriguez should be an absolute monster. At left tackle, we have a pretty good group now. The plus to the overalls are so big because it makes this offensive line look a lot better. And these guys are only redshirt sophomores as well at 69 overall. Nice. Jeff McGrew, another sophomore to 72 overall. Our centers, both seniors, unfortunately. We might even change. Well, I guess we're past that. But Lee Rankin could have played like guard. Might even do that on the depth chart. Max Birch, 75 overall. Lee Rankin went up seven. That's wild to me. At right guard, Lawrence Frederick, 72 overall. Bunch of good boosts. These guys are all seniors, though, except for uh, Corey Tidwell. But he'll start next year, which will be cool. At right tackle, Jabari Siegel, 72 overall. It makes the offensive line actually look pretty good. Ron Wilkerson up to a 75. Deontay McKeon up to a 73. I'm happy to see Sandoval Slaughter, though. Eh, only plus three. That's not that bad. But, you know, you're hoping always for a little bit more. Did I miss the defense here? Let's see. 73 block shit. 81 finesse move could be good. Could be really good. Defensive tackle. Simeon Petty goes up to a 74. Daryl Bradford. Simeon Petty played really well last year. And then Daryl Bradford is a redshirt freshman. Colt Nash up to a 72. I'm excited to see Lightning McQueen. That'll be a fun one. Devin White was big. Jeff Fisher played a lot last year, actually. Dante Jean, senior, 84 speed, not too bad. Lightning McQueen up to a 74 overall with 85 speed. That is beautiful. 82 hit power, 83 tackle. Decent block shed. His own could be improved. His press is ridiculously high for a linebacker, I feel. Cornerback, the outlaw goes up to a 73. 92 speed. We might even be competitive. Jarvis Blankenship above a 70 now. Mike Lee, we saw. Tariq Parrish, 74 overall. And of course, no kicker, no punter going up. But wow. I think this was great. This was a very fun offseason. But, of course, we might actually have to cut some players. Always a sad day. All right, we got to cut three players. Easiest way to do this. Sort by lowest overall. <laughs> Michael Harrison, he's a 40 overall fullback. I can't cut him. Because we're, we're at the position minimum. Oh, no. All right, Brent Christensen's got to go. Glenn Robinson... I don't really see you playing ever. I don't really want to cut Willie Mays. Do we have multiple punters? No, we need to keep Kyle Day, unfortunately. Where are we real heavy here? I think that's I'm not that's as many cornerbacks. I need those guys. Uh, middle linebacker. I feel like it'd be a waste to cut Edwin Garrett. I might actually just be real rude and cut a senior. We have too many defensive tackles. Tyrell McCarthy. Sorry, bud. You are gone. All right, custom conferences. We are staying in the Sun Belt. It makes no sense to move out. Just doesn't. And we're, you know, we went 4-8 and eight in the Sun Belt last year. I think we can actually improve that considerably. I'm looking to at least go even. I'm looking to maybe even finish above 500. That could be a very tough task. But I think it's doable. Now the ability to reset your coach's skill trees. Don't think I'm going to be resetting anything. Thanks, though. I will be changing some things. It kept telling me I'm a level 7 Bengus Khan like 400 times. I get it. And it's got to be all recruiting stuff. I don't know if I like the locksmith that much, but I do like the closer. Royal treatment. Plus 100 every time we get a recruit. I want to actually... Uh, Go with the opener. I think that's a pretty good one to have. 
Let's see. What do we have for offensive coordinator? Do I have any points? Oh, I don't have any points. All right. Cool, 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 cool. These are the uh, BCS Bowl tie-ins. Of course, the BCS still existed at this time. There was no college football playoff. So, as you can see, these are uh, the different tie-ins to each conference. You guys are curious about the bowl. And time to advance to the preseason. I think we will do a practice with some of our new players to just kind of see how they're playing. See how everybody looks. I will be customizing the appearance of some of our new players. Some of our new recruits, including, of course, sophomore quarterback Colby Spencer. Absolutely, I will be. He will not wear 16. He also won't wear gloves. Well, we have no numbers in the, in the single digits. That's going to change. Colby Spencer will be wearing number three. This is what he looks like. Can't really see the name, but uh, he's rocking the dreadlocks. So we're all good with it. Got the quarterback wristband on the left side. Of course, towel, hand warmer. It gets so cold in Louisiana. Devin White has been changed to number 40. Derek Higgins is going to wear number 27. Freshman kicker Pete Riley will wear number 69 to match his speed. Hunter Register is going to be 82. I guess we're going to keep Jake Rodriguez at 46. I haven't changed a lot of these numbers. It was just... Um, we might even change one more. He's a quarterback, cornerback, and kicker. Scott Lewis, do we want him to wear number 29? We also make him 26. Don't think I'm going to do that. Scott Lewis will wear number 32. We'll be setting up our recruiting board in the next episode, so make sure to subscribe if you're not already. And we will be redshirting players, figuring out the exact depth chart. It's pretty much going to be as it is, though. And let's go ahead and see these guys on the field for the first time in practice. Here we go, Scott Lewis. Decent speed from him. It's refreshing. Darren Maxwell doesn't have that breakaway speed. Decent spin move. Colby Spencer is going to be a lot of fun to play with. A guy that can make these throws on the run, the way you're seeing right now. Can also hit the post in the pocket. Touchdown, Rob Gaither. That's a, he breaks a tackle. That's great speed off the edge. Who is that? Is, I think that's Sandoval Slaughter playing right end there. But again, these throws on the run, pretty great. Give me a good block. There we go. Colby Spencer, I'm going to be absolutely ridiculous every game. It'll be so many runs. I know we're keep coming out in the same play here. But he's just such a big playmaker. Wide open over the middle, and Colby Spencer misses it. Seems like a great play here if we fade Francisco, given this defense. And it makes the safety make a decision. And if he makes a wrong decision, it's a touchdown if Gaither catches the ball. It's going to be a very interesting season. It really will be. We have a great athlete in quarterback Colby Spencer. It's all about making the right plays. Not being too foolish with the football. Let's get Jake Rodriguez a touch here. Wow. Look at the speed off the edge. Who was that? That's going to do it for the practice, though. Don't want to spoil too much of what you're going to be seeing in the games. And I am super excited. Is that Almond Ross St. Brown? Copyright infringement. Using his likens. Not exactly copyright. So in the next episode, we're going to set up the recruiting board. Red shirts and players. Set our schedule, and then start season number two. I'm super excited. I hope you guys are as well. That's going to do it for me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.